What's up, Two Saucy Gang? It's your boy Martin Saucy back with another video. The first step to become more confident is understand that everybody does not like you. Once I understood that everybody is not gonna like me, bro, I literally became a lot more confident because I realized it. I'm like, bro, there are certain people that I don't even like. I don't even know them, but I just don't like them for some reason. People are the same way with me. Stop thinking that everybody likes you, that everybody, you know what I'm saying, that everybody's going to mess with you, that everybody's going to support you, because that is not the case. See, once you understand that, you're going to do things and, and do your own thing regardless of what other people have to say, because it's really not even about them for real. You know what I'm saying? So regardless if somebody like it or not, I'm doing it because I want to do it. I'm not doing it because you told me to. I'm doing it because I want to. You get what I'm saying? That will make you more confident. The second way to becoming more confident is understanding that not everybody cares about you. So if you walk into a store, stop thinking people are staring at you. Nobody's staring at you. Nobody really cares about you like that. When you walk past these people and you know what I'm saying, different things like that, yeah, they may see you, yeah, they may admire you or they might not admire you. But at the end of the day, they don't really care about you because they don't know you. You're, you're a stranger. You're a stranger. Always think about things from another perspective. Don't just think about it from your perspective. Think about it from another perspective. What if that person was walking up to you and they didn't know you? Just like I'm walking up to them and they don't know me. I'm like, who is this? Who is this man? Who is this woman? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's the second way to becoming more confident. The third way to becoming more confident is understanding that you could die. Literally, you could die tomorrow. You could literally die tomorrow. You could not be here tomorrow, bro. So why wouldn't you want to be confident on the last day that you live? See, I treat every day like it's my last day. I treat every day like it's my last day. So I enjoy it to the, to the fullest. I have the best time I can. I do whatever I can. I face my fears whatever I can. I put as much work in as I can. Because I feel as though God don't want you to be fearful. God don't want me to be all scared and, 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 and you know what I'm saying, not able to talk and not able to, you feel me, like enjoy life. Because, nigga, what? I'm going to make mistakes regardless. I might as well do what I want to do. You get what I'm saying? Would you rather die knowing that you was a punk or die knowing that you was that guy, that girl? You feel me? Like, that you was like that. That's what I, I would rather die like that. I'm just being honest. I, I would rather die knowing that I made an impact on people. You feel me? And I helped people. And I did the best I could at the age of 18. I would rather die knowing that. Just That's just me personally, though. You know? Understand that tomorrow is not promised. Feel me? And some people don't get the, get the chance to wake up. So for you to even be watching this video right now, it's a blessing. You need to think. Yeah. There's only one person like you in this world of billions of people. There are billions of people around this whole entire world. And there's only one you. One. There may be some people that look like you. You may have some doppelgangers. But at the end of the day, there's only one of you that came up the way you did, that talked the way you do, that walked the way you do, that, you feel me, that wear the clothes. I'm telling you, it's only one of you that has the talents that you do, that has the mindset that you do, that has there's so many different things, bro. But you are literally one of one. There's no two of you. That's why I hate when people try to compare me because I'm not them. I'm Mar. I may look like him. I may talk like him a little bit. We may talk about the same things, but I'm Mar. I'm not him. I'm not him. So why compare yourself to other people? See, the reason why people don't be as confident is because they be comparing themselves to other 
men. Women be comparing themselves to other women. Compare yourself to nobody because you are nobody else. It's only one of you. And once you look at it like that, it's like, dang, like, what's the point of even be like, what's the point of even comparing myself to this dude? Like, I'm, I'm, you feel me? Like, you need to, that, that, that will build your confidence for sure. I'm telling you for sure. Because it don't matter how this guy look. It don't matter how this guy talk. It don't matter if this guy is doing this and this, this guy is doing that. I don't even care. I do what I'm doing. I focus on what I'm doing. I focus on where I'm going. And I used to be that guy. I used to be that guy that used to compare myself to other guys. Maybe they had the fresher shoes. Maybe they look better than me. Maybe this and that. But I had to stop doing that because they are not me at the end of the day. We are two different people. Start random conversations with people. Go up to somebody and literally say hey and start a conversation with them. Your confidence will go through the roof. I promise you, if you do that and you just do it with, with a random person here, random person there, a random person here, a random person there, it's almost like networking or it's pretty much is networking, you know, that will build your confidence because not only will you not be afraid to talk to people, but it translates to you talking to women as well, because you got to understand a lot of the people that be scared to talk to women, that be scared to approach women and stuff like that, they be scared to talk to people. They have social anxiety. And if you have social anxiety, the only way you can stop that is by going out and starting conversations with random people that you have no idea, you you know nothing about. I used to do this all the time. And I, the only reason why I did this was because I had social anxiety because I didn't talk to strangers like that. I didn't talk to random people like that, you know, but when I started doing it, when I started, you know, building that, them convos and building the, the conversation skills and stuff like that, it made it a lot easier for me to network and put myself out there. So if you have like a business or something that you want to start or something that you want to get into, Networking skills are probably one of the most beneficial skills that you can have. Just trying to grow in life, you know, because you got to be able to talk to people. You got to be able to conversate. You got to be able to congregate with people. Because if you're not, you really not going to make it far. It, it just, it just being honest, because you got to have them connections. Them connections mean everything. For real, you gotta you gotta know somebody that knows somebody. If you know somebody that knows somebody, so they can know somebody and put you on with somebody, and then you can put somebody else on. It's it's so many ways that you know being social and um, talking to people can help you. But yeah, man, that's it for the video. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and peace out.